Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Alright guys, what is going on? It's Jacob here. Today's video is going to be nice and short. It's going to be part of a little series that I'm going to do showing you guys some really awesome diet tips that I've been using personally in my diet, um, helping me stay on a calorie restricted diet. These are foods that are high in volume but lower in calories as opposed to other sources of foods. Um, that you might think are quite good and quite low in calories, but um, these are certainly some options that I tend to use. Um, I've you know, come to know of these things through dieting so many times in the past. You know, These are things that I tell everyone about, but I do want to put out in video form so people can see uh, from all over the world, not just the people I talk to in person. So today's video is actually going to be my replacement for rice in my diet. So obviously rice comes in all, all sorts of flavors, types. The rice that I usually get is actually pre-cooked. It's stuff that you just have to warm up in the microwave. It's in these little packets. So you know rice is obviously always seen as a healthy option um, but what you'll find is actually you know when you're on a calorie restricted diet you're going to want foods that give you a lot of volume. It's, you're going to want foods that are going to be you know, satisfying. Um, rice, to, an, to a certain point, is satisfying. If, I, if I'm going to eat the whole entire packet, yes, that may satisfy me for a meal. But half of this packet is nowhere near satisfying me. Let's talk about the macros for a sec. I've got them written down here. We've got 125 grams as a serve. One packet is 250 grams. So... Personally, I can't deal with eating you know, half a packet. It's just not enough. It really isn't. So we're going to talk about a whole packet being a serve right now. So a whole packet, we've got 250 grams, 366 calories, 7.8 grams of protein, 5.6 grams of fat, and 71.2 grams of carbs. So in this entire container, you know, it, it's, it's quite a few calories. If you're on 1,500 calories a day, um, 366 calories is quite a lot. For me personally, I diet on around about 2,500 calories a day, so it's not too bad, but I have found an alternative that is lower in calories, higher in protein, and tastes even better, I believe, and that is chickpeas. No, I'm not going vegan, although, come to think of it, chickpeas is actually a fantastic source of vegan protein. I was one of those guys that said, if you go vegan, you're never going to be able to get enough protein. You need meat in your diet. Well, the fact is, guys, is the macros on a whole container of these, um, the container is 400 grams. If you drain it, it's uh, 240 grams. So we've, got, we've actually got four serves of 60 grams in here. But like I said, I'm not going to be splitting this up into, you know, into two or four. I want an entire container in one meal, so that's what we're going to be talking about. So a 240 gram serve is the entire container. We've got 220 calories, 17.6 grams of protein, 2 grams of fat, and 36.4 grams of carbs. And of those carbs, you've got 16.8 grams of fiber in this one container. So if we're talking about you know, creating a meal, You've got your protein source, you might have your vegetables, and you're going to want to add in a carbohydrate source, you know, because a meal is not a meal without some sort of carbohydrates, I don't believe, unless you're trying to go a ketogenic diet or something like that. But, you know, as far as adding something to a meat and a vegetable, I am going with chickpeas at the moment. Can you imagine how awesome beef mints or chicken mints mixed with chickpeas uh, with a little bit of, you know, low fat cheese on top plus some Chobani Greek yogurt as sour cream. I mean, that's like a nacho mix. It's fucking absolutely amazing. As far as volume goes, they are similar in volume, but like I said, this is way less calories, higher in protein, more fiber. It tastes fantastic. I mean, you can season it however you like. So yeah, guys, that would have to be my ultimate tip at the moment for replacing rice in any meal that you're making. Chickpeas are fantastic. I thought that I'd hate them. I really do enjoy them, and I think you guys will too. So until next time, guys, have a great day. It's up to you guys what you use, but if you are trying to stick to a calorie-restricted type of diet uh, where your protein is, is high, uh, fat is low, and carbs are low, 
I'd say chickpeas are the way to go. So that's it guys, peace.